Yeah, here we are once again with Normal Bob and Dob, and you know what? Normal Bob is ticked off because he hasn't seen Komodo Gaming in like a year, and it's getting ridiculous. Hey, open up. When are you going to make these episodes again, huh? We've been waiting. Uh, this is ridiculous. Dob, what do you have to say? Yeah, no, this is absolutely ridiculous. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just go right into his office. Hey, why aren't you making these Where's he at? You gotta be kidding me. He's not even here. Wait, when's the last time he's been in Brick Rigs? Uh, you know what? Check his channel. Uh, I'll find him. Maybe he's in one of the other offices. And Wait, did you hear something? Uh, I swear I'm hearing... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, Dob, you might want to run. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's the evil scientist Bob. And he's in his giant swaying a uh, star destroyer and oh i think he's gonna be oh he's gonna be sick hold on oh geez okay he's fine and you know what he's here to take out bob and boy it's about to get messy All right, that's it. This is going to be the end of Bob. All right, we need to select a seat, and we're just going to send over a, uh, a couple convenient explosives his way. All right, here we go. Start firing into the office. Oh, you know what? This might not be enough firepower. Uh, it's not doing enough damage there. All right, turn back. Uh, maybe we should start hitting the base of the tower here. It should be fine. And Okay, target. There it goes. Oh, you know what? Rocket shotgun builds really, really good towers. I think we're gonna have to go to drastic measures here in order to take this thing out because we have barely even made a scratch in it. I mean, we've done a little bit of damage. You know, I wonder what Bob's doing right now. <coughs> All right, well, you know what? We're just gonna go for it here. Here it goes and, oh, <laughs> we just boinged the tower and uh-oh, there it goes. Uh, I would say that was a successful takedown of a tower. I didn't expect the point of it just to boing it off, but you know what? We did it. Uh, that should have defeated Bob, right? Hon, can we get a, a view of Dob in there? Oh, he's barely hanging on. And up oh, there he goes. Uh, this is fine. Uh oh, it looks like the Star Destroyer might be going down. Oh, no, he's going for another run, but it looks like he's dragging bottom. And oh, this is going to be bad. Uh oh, um, yep. It definitely looks like the, uh, the Star Destroyer is breaking apart. But you know what? He got it done for the most part. I'm pretty sure Bob's defeated. All right, you know what? It's fine. Evil Bob doesn't even need that. Uh, he's going to go inspect the damage and ensure that Bob is truly defeated. All right, look for Bob. Which one is Bob? Oh, the... oh. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay, it appears that everybody's still at work uh, in their cubicles, which is fine. All right, we got to go find Bob. He's somewhere in the wreckage here, right? I mean, we got a couple direct hits on the office. Also, stuff's still flying around and... Wait, where's he at? Uh... Bob? Um... Okay. Uh, maybe he's on top. You know, I wonder where Bob has gone. I don't even see him up here. Why do I feel like he's actually behind us somewheres? Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Well, you can say the evil scientist Bob... It's done lost his head. And with that, once again, Bob has saved the day from evil. And you know what, him it. It's fine, Dob likes to do that. You know what, I'm gonna go get ice cream, this is fine. So yeah, it looks like Bob saved the day once again. If you guys wanna download any of the creations that you see in today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and point them out here. Uh, that was by Jet, it is a Star Destroyer. It's actually one of the most popular creations over the past three months and of course we use the uh, the rocket shotgun hq but that's not it we've got other things to check out today including one of the more unique creations i've seen in brick rigs this is called the angry birds now if you don't know what the angry birds are it's a was a popular mobile game i don't know if it's still popular anymore i remember playing it like seven years ago <laughs> i think it was at its peak then but volcanic shadow has recreated the game in brick rigs so we're gonna go ahead and spawn this Ah, here it is. So, yes, it's the full-blown Angry Birds game. You aim the slingshot, you shoot the bird at the tower, and does the bird explode? I don't quite remember. But, yeah, we're going to check this out. Also, by the way, if you guys are excited for some more Brick Rigs, you want to see some more story episodes, more uh, multiplayer, and some more awesome creations, uh, maybe hit that thumbs-up button, and uh, let's jump into the bird here. 
All right, so we can aim the bird up and down. Oh, this thing looks awesome. So what do we do? You just click the button and it, oh, and it flies. Oh, that's so good. Of course, we just overshot this, but this is fine. Uh, so yeah, you don't have any control of the bird other than the uh, the rocket. So yeah, keep that in mind. And uh Oh, does it explode? And oh, oh, it doesn't. You know, I really want to shoot this at Tobias, but first let's knock down the tower. All right, so I'm assuming the tower itself is fully destructible. So let's go ahead and go, we, oh, okay. That was a very bad hit. Wow, I suck at Angry Birds. All right, let's give this another hit. Let's go, we, and okay. Oh, we're still, oh, we bounced off it. So you have to aim quite high with this. I like this because it doesn't feel like it's gonna be a perfect straight shot each time. So you definitely wanna aim a little higher. All right, here we go. And, oh, there it is. Oh, we took out the pig. I was waiting for the little pop that they normally do. And oh, okay, that's kind of frightening whenever you destroy this. That, oh, yep. All right, we gotta shoot this at Tobias. Okay, so I'm gonna say the headshot is worth 10 points, the groin shot's worth five points, and a, a mid-body shot's like a point. All right, this should be fairly easy, right? And, uh oh oh, he just took out his legs. <laughs> oh, you know, that didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to do. I would love to see a nuclear angry bird. Like you have one that just completely blows up the world. Uh, that would be amazing. Hold on, set Tobias back up. I want to hit him in the head. All right, we're going for a headshot here. Let's go up a little bit. There we go. And oh, that's mid body. And oh man, it just knocked him right over. Yeah, it doesn't actually do a ton of damage. Of course, I think it's meant to actually play the game. It's not meant for mass destruction, even though Komodo likes mass destruction. All right, we're gonna give it one more shot. We're going for the trick shot here. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I think we knocked out a couple teeth and busted the back of his head open. Yep, there's a tooth right there, and uh, that skull. Oh, and there goes the angry bird. Oh, it's gone. I like the whole fact that Bob's in this. Also, this is your first person camera. Oh, I'm gonna get dizzy. All right, we we gotta get out of this. <laughs> All right, so for our next creation here, we have something that I kind of wish was a part of the regular map. I guess I understand that it's a jump, but it feels like it's incomplete. This is the bridge extension. So watch this. This is something that I've wanted, or it's kind of bugged me on this map. So you see the bridge here? not connected i mean i guess you could say it's a jump but wouldn't it be kind of cool if it actually had a little connection you know like this oh okay i think i spawned that in wrong bob died all right let's give it another go and boop there it goes look at that we have a uh, a bridge connection so in theory you should be able to drive your car across and get to this bridge i mean i like the jump I'm not complaining if you still hit it at a high rate of speed you're gonna fly over it but oh dear what just happened all right, this apparently didn't want us standing on it. Uh, okay, well, you get the idea. I just wanted to highlight this really quick because this is something I was uh, always wondering about. All right, and for our next creation, this is something I've always wondered, how did I miss this? So this is by Jujuice. Uh, this is the Walking Warhound Class Titan from Warhammer 40K. And this thing is almost to scale. This thing is massive and it is absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and spawn it and oh yes. Oh, this thing looks evil. All right, let's spawn in. It's gonna take a second. It's uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, this is uh, 3,300 bricks. And yes, it is a full blown walker. Now I think we need to be in God mode for this because it's little feet fall off. But yeah, you got a, a little bit of walking here. Uh, walkers in brick rigs have always been a little weird, but this one's fairly good i mean it looks wobbly but it is making progress here so look at that uh now of course this thing probably has working cannons right oh oh it's got two like gatlin auto cannons dude that is so cool all right what else do we have here oh you've got like a big explosive cannon on the other side oh man this thing is sweet looking you know what we got to destroy something expensive with this how about a building and maybe some expensive cars which by the way we also are going to check out a car crusher it's been a while since we've done that and oh yes look at the shine off that all right so we have three targets here we have an awesome lamborghini which we're about to actually check this thing out uh we have dob and his family and we have a fan favorite this is the waffle co uh movie theater it's been a while since i've seen this thing like it's probably been a couple years 
All right, so let's see what the mech can do here. All right, so we're just gonna aim our little guns here. Let's go and go into slow-mo because I wanna see the glory of this. All right, you know the first target's gotta be Dob and his family. Here we go and oh, <laughs> oh that was so cool. Oh, they never get a break and oh, wow. Hold on, let's go out of slow-mo. You see, I think parts of Dob actually damaged the theater and wrecked the Lamborghini. Okay, uh, next target, let's aim over. Oh, this thing's gonna be instantly gone. All right, ready for some more of that satisfying destruction and... Oh! Hey, did you see that? There's one wheel like still perfectly there. It's like this one didn't even move. Oh man. Okay, so we blew that thing up. All right, we got one more target. And if I'm not mistaken, this thing's already filled with some sort of explosive material. So this is gonna be perfect. Here it goes. Oh, oh, that was great, Han. Let's. Oh, it's still exploding. Okay. Yep. This uh, creation's like totally spring loaded. And look at the glorious destruction. And the theater is pretty much completely gone. Okay, this might be one of the best mechs uh, in Brick Rigs. That was cool. All right, well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's go ahead and throw the mech in the grinder. All right, this thing's too powerful for Bob, and oh, I think its feet were like spring-loaded, and it's gonna slowly get caught in the grinder and disappear. Uh, so Bob just fell out, and he's dead. I think the mech got a little bit of revenge on him, and oh, you know what? We might need to just spawn this bad boy down in here. Uh-oh, oh, yep, that was a mistake. There we go. Spring-loaded feet, perfect. All right, and the Lamborghini is by Goldie Gold. This thing is super sweet looking. Like, as far as the details, this is probably one of the more detailed Lamborghinis on the workshop. Check that out. All right, we gotta go for a quick test drive before we, oh, oh wow. All right, before we crush this thing and, oh, look at that. Dude, the speed. It bottoms out a little bit and does that weird bounce, but it seems like it immediately glues itself back to the ground which is pretty impressive. A lot of times when you get that weird bounce, like the creation will take off. Uh, also, you might want to be in God mode here. And up, oh, we are losing parts. This is fine. This thing is super fast. I like this. And up, oh, okay, this is fine. You know, I almost feel like we need to be in God mode for this creation here. Let's go God mode here and let's take off. It's still gonna bounce, I think, but for the most part, this thing feels really good. Yeah, that planting is awesome. And okay, I managed to get it to flip that time. <laughs> Oh, sometimes the brick rigs physics are a little weird. I also think this thing's extremely low to the ground. Like, check the uh, the ground clearance out. Okay, here, let's get flat. Uh, it's not too bad. I wonder what's bouncing. Is it just the whole fact that it's a bunch of bricks kind of looks like they're in each other? Or is it the pegs here that bounce? I don't really know what it is, but man, the model of this is just amazing. It even somewhat got an interior. And look at Bob. Yep, that would totally be me in a Lamborghini. I don't know how people could actually get into these things. But you know what we have to do? We have to crush this thing because it's brick rigs. Now I have one crusher out and I'm not sure it's actually gonna fit into here, but I've got other options. I just thought this was one of the, the better looking ones on the workshop and uh oh, oh, this is gonna be a tight fit boys. Um, yep. All right, this Lamborghini's kind of a thick boy. So we need something like a mobile car crusher, which by the way, this is the same creation as the one that we were just checking out. I think this one uh, just is like a little pancake machine, essentially. All right, looks like we're gonna plant the outriggers. There we go. Oh, that's, uh, okay, that's really far up. <laughs> Dude, check that out. Okay, so I know how this works now. So essentially, it is a little crane that you're gonna put the car on and you can move it over here and you can crush it. Now this Lamborghini is a wide body. This thing is thick looking. I'm not sure this is gonna 100% work, but we're gonna try this out anyway. So let's extend that one out, extend that one out, and let's hook some uh, hooks into it. There is one there. And then let's do one over on this corner. And let's get in and see if we can lift this bad boy. All right, there we go. Hey, it's working pretty good. I still think the Lamborghini's a little too big, but we're about to crush somebody's hopes and dreams here. There we go. Okay, can we extend this out? Oh, okay. I think this is really meant for smaller cars, but you know what? We're somewhat in. I would still cry if this was my Lamborghini. Okay, uh, if I hit the switch and, oh. Oh, there it goes, it's getting stuck. 
Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh! Oh, you know what? The Lamborghini's in God mode, isn't it? Uh, oops. That was a fail. Alright, so the Lamborghini's loaded up now, and it barely fits, but this is gonna totally work. So, let's go... And here it goes. Oh, no. Oh, dude, that's so cool! And up. Oh. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and hit that switch one more time. Uh, let's get this back up. I think we've done enough damage here. Something appears to be stuck. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, this thing is completely jammed. Hold on, let's uh, move this over. There you go. That's what's left of the Lamborghini. That was not that expensive, was it? Uh, oh, dear. Well, you know what? On that note, I think this is going to wrap up the episode. Uh, go download the creations in the workshop, and we'll see you guys next time.